Hey everyone, ah, oh, I just found out I'm responsible for dessert tonight, oh my gosh. And my dad was counting on my upside down, old fashioned grandmother recipe cake. So good, I actually had made it yesterday, but someone got to it. It's just so delicious and it's so easy, you guys. Ingredients, super fast, super easy. So let's make upside down pineapple cake together. So simple. You're gonna need a cup of granulated sugar, a cup of sifted flour. I sift the flour in this with a teaspoon of baking powder and a little dash of salt. Ding. Some vanilla, some brown sugar. We're gonna need three eggs separated and I've got my bowl with the egg whites I'm gonna put in the freezer. The bowl's getting cold right now so we can really whip it up. Some pineapple. I only have crushed pineapple, but you pineapple, crushed pineapple, better to have the pineapple rings, but you gotta make do with what you got. Did I say vanilla? Mwah! Love vanilla. And some nice cherries. Now you can use maraschino cherries. I only have these, they're delicious. Love them so much. So let's get started making pineapple upside down cake. So easy. So here we go. We are gonna take, oh, and one more thing, butter. Don't forget melted butter. Let me get it. I'm actually melting it in the microwave. Hold on. All right, super simple. This is a half a stick of butter. So simple. So all you do, you take the half a stick of butter and you pour it in your pan. And I like to swirl it all around, get it on the sides. And then when you're done with that, you take a cup of brown sugar. Now I, I am, I cook very fast and very easily. Let's get the other half a cup. So we have a full cup. And then we put it in there. I, I like to use my hands. You know, a good trick about brown sugar is sometimes it gets hard after a little time, you know, we don't use a lot of brown sugar, especially when it's in the country. So what you gotta do sometimes is I microwave it. So swirl it around with the butter. Yes, my hands are washed. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't matter if there's a few little chunks because they will melt in the cake. Put it right there. See that, gonna cover the bottom of the pan as best we can, but again, it will all melt beautifully. A little cloth here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pineapple and we're gonna just put it all at the bottom. Again, I only have pineapple chunks. Pineapple rings are prettier, but like I always say, use what's in your refrigerator. And we're gonna save some of this juice to put in our homemade cake batter. So there's that. And now we're gonna spread that out nicely. Pineapple, don't you love canned, canned pineapple? I love fresh, but there's something about canned pineapple. It's just mm, delicious. And I get the pineapple, the canned pineapple in the pineapple juice. Oh, I can't open this. There we go. How good are these cherries? You know I love these cherries, but like I said, you can use the maraschino if you want. Just dot them in. I like a heavy little thing with the pine with the cherries because they're just so delicious. Yes, my hands are washed. You know what? In my day growing up, you cooked with your hands. It added a lot of love. <laughs> So let's keep going with that. So I put quite a bit, and then I'm actually gonna pour a little of the juice in it and wash my hands, cause that's sticky. So that is good. So look how this looks so far. Very easy. Cup of brown sugar, half a cup of butter, pineapple pieces, and the cherries all around. All right, put that to the side. 
Next, we're gonna take our sugar, which is right here. We're gonna pour it in the pan. And then we're gonna separate the eggs. So I'm gonna put the egg whites in here and the egg yolks and the sugar. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. It's very simple. You see how simple that is? One. Now we have two egg yolks. And now we have three egg yolks. All right, now I'm gonna put the egg whites in the in this little glass bowl, and I'm gonna actually put it in the freezer, but you have to be very careful. Only can stay in there for about five minutes because they literally freeze almost super fast. So hold on. Now you may ask, why do you put the egg whites in the bowl in the freezer? Because you're gonna make a fluffy egg white fluff that you're gonna fold into your vanilla batter so it's nice and fluffy, you see what I mean? So now we're gonna take just the old fashioned sunbeam mixer. Watch this, oops, I help if I plugged it in, hold on. <laughs> this is actually my mother's sunbeam. And I love it. I love it better than the KitchenAid. KitchenAid's good, but nothing is better than that good old-fashioned Sunbeam mixer. All right, buff it up a bit. See how easy this is? Goodness. All right, we fluffed it up a bit. I'm gonna give it one more swirl. Just until it's a little creamy. Hold on, let me grab a mixing spoon. And then we're gonna take the one cup of flour that's been sifted, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a little bit of dash of salt, mix it up. And we're gonna pour this. Actually, uh-oh, almost forgot my favorite thing. A little drop of, ting, vanilla. It's a little too much, so I'm gonna pour a little out. Really only about a teaspoon, but that's okay. You really can't over vanilla, can you? So I'm mixing this up, and then I'm gonna add it to my flour, baking powder, and salt. Look how easy this is. Mmm. Now this is the key. I'm actually not gonna, I'm gonna do this part by hand because I find it's better you mix your cake by hand. See this? All right, keep going. And we're gonna add about five tablespoons of the juice. One, two, three, four, five. And a little extra for love. <laughs> I know, but it's about five. You know me and my cooking, it's not always, it's not always ultra specific, but in the end, it's always delicious. And that's what you want. All right, we got that going. Now the batter right now is a little bit dry, but that's okay, because once we get done with the, the um, egg whites and fold it in, it'll get nice and moist. So I'm just gonna clean my, my sunbeam mixer. All right, because we're going to get ready to do the egg whites. Ah! Put them back on here. Isn't it great to use a sunbeam? I mean, the KitchenAids are great. Love it. But sometimes you're just not in the mood for the whole big thing. This thing is great. You take it out. Works every time. One set of beaters. That's it. If you knew the cakes, the cookies, the breads, that I've made with this over the years for the kids. Hold on, let's grab it. So now I have my freezing cold bowl with my chilled egg whites in it. I'm gonna pour it in. And I do that because it helps to whip it up quicker. The chilled bowl will help to whip it up quicker. I 
me. I think it reminds him of the old days when we were growing up. My mother always had a nice upside down cake. And I serve it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Or you can serve it with cloudy treat. Or you can serve it with unsweetened whipped cream. I like whipping up homemade whipped cream, but I do it unsweetened because it's such a sweet dessert. If you want to do it, make a little sugar go right ahead. Look how fast it's going. Two, two minutes already coming along. Not quite yet, but almost. Those are soft peaks. We don't want hard peaks, but a little more. How quick that was and look how nice that is that's nice mm. i like egg whites you can do so many fun things with egg whites angel food cake homemade marshmallows okay now we're gonna take this and put this in the batter all right so this is the key with this you want to fold it more or less in the batter. You don't want to mix it. You want to more or less fold it. Watch. I'm actually going to use the bigger one for this, though. Fold it and fold, fold. See, it's kind of bringing air to the cake, and it's going to loosen it up and make it a little more fluffy and not so dense. See? Just get them all incorporated. Like I said, it's not a precise science. Oh, this is, you know, I wish you could smell it. It's an old fashioned vanilla cake smell. Nothing is better than a nice old fashioned vanilla cake. Don't you agree? We're almost there, folks. All right. All right. I think about five more folds. And then one, two, three, four, and Five. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let me taste it. Oh. I love old-fashioned vanilla cake. Now, this is the fun part. We're going to take this, and we're going to put it on this. Oh. So, this is the fun part. We're going to take this. Oh boy, can you see how nice that is? Well, I wish you could taste how delicious it is. So simple, right? People get afraid of making homemade cakes. I don't. I think that they um, are fun to make. I think people get excited about a homemade cake. Even if you're not a, even a cake person, you'll always take a homemade cake, right? Make sure you get it all in the corners. Cover it all up. Get a little one again. Don't worry if some of the cherries are floating on top. We'll push them back down. See? Cover them back up. Oh! My mouth is watering. And then I'm going to put it in the oven at four, sorry, 350 for about 40 minutes. But you can always do the cake test. I have a fast oven. This uh, oven is very fast, so I have to be careful of it. So I will see you when the cake is ready, and then I'll teach you how to flip it. See ya. Very excited. My dad's going to be thrilled. All right, my cake is in the little oven. That's a baking oven. I don't use the big one because it's just a little cake. I'm trying to save the energy. So we have out our, our baking sort of rack. So it's going to cool for only about 10 minutes. And our great, beautiful... I'm going to serve it to my dad and so I'll get get back to you guys in about 30 minutes anyway it's time for my quick nap so I'm going to go upstairs I've got the timer on and when that baby rings I'll be back 
Ooh, all right, all right, all right. I did the flip without you, I'm not gonna lie. I ran out of battery. But now we have enough, so we let it sit for 10 minutes when it comes out of the oven. Then you butter your knife. You put your knife around the hot pan, slather it in butter, put it around the hot pan, slather it in butter. Wait about 10 minutes, you don't wanna wait too long. And then it flips out, look how beautiful that is. Oh, my dad's gonna be very happy. And now we're gonna use this beautiful cake plate to plate it, because it's all about presentation. All right, folks, let's hope I can do this one right. All right, let's see. Alley oop, alley oop, alley oop, oop, oop. You can't see me doing it, but I'm doing it. It's got to be a quick motion, because if you hesitate, you lose. You got to not think about it. It's like jumping into cold water. One, two, three, and up. All right, folks, so serve this with vanilla ice cream. I would do unsweetened heavy cream. Again, put your bowl in the freezer for about 10 minutes before you whip it. It'll whip up super fast. Or you could serve it with a little clotted cream. You could serve it with Cool Whip. Or you could just have it like this. So I hope you enjoyed my pineapple upside down cake. I'm gonna bring it to my dad and I think he's gonna be very happy. What do you think?